Good morning, you guys. I'm so excited for today's vlog because we are going to be doing a little spring refresh over here. I'm so over the teddy bear coats as you can see i like switched out my clothing rack now i have all of my like spring dresses out it's the most gorgeous spring day it feels so good outside it's so sunny and bright and i am just gonna be getting in the spring mood today i have some spring fashion to share i'm gonna be doing a little glowy spring makeup look with you guys i'm gonna go run some errands later and get some spring decor just to kind of freshen up so yeah i thought that this would be a really fun day to vlog i just applied my sunscreen i have been meaning to share the sunscreen with you guys it's the tula one it's spf 30 it's a really good everyday one but the reason i love it the most is just that it's so, it's like so glowy and goes on clear it's like actually a sunscreen that i want to wear on a daily basis and then i'm going in with my it cosmetics cc cream i'm going for like a really glowy dewy look today and i figured i haven't really sat down and properly like done my makeup with you guys in a really long time i thought i would kind of sit down and do a really glowy look i've been really loving using cream products recently i wanted to do that look with you guys elena is with my mom right now i probably drop her off over there like three times a week sometimes four it really just depends on like how busy i am i just hate having to leave her and i'm so thankful that i can drop her off with my mom and like i tr obviously trust my mom at the same time like i just feel so guilty every time i have to leave her because I don't know i just want to be able to like take care of every single one of her needs and just be there for every single moment and i don't know like i feel like this is kind of the first experience with mom guilt that i've ever really had i know that i have to keep telling myself that this is my job and i would have to be doing the same thing if i was working as a nurse but i don't know i just still those feelings of just like guilt just keep creeping in like mom guilt is like no joke but anyways i can't leave her more more than like three hours at a time anyways because i'm still breastfeeding and i just refuse to pump it's my own fault like it would i would make it so much easier on myself if i would just pump but i just hate pumping let me know if any of you mamas are the same way i just i can't get myself to do it unless it's like absolutely necessary i'm gonna be using the chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I actually have had this for years and I completely forgot about it. And whenever I was asking you guys on my Instagram for cream bronzer recommendations, so many people said this bronzer. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have that. I just had, I had bought it like maybe four years ago and I just completely forgot about it. It's pricey. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why I bought this <laughs> four years ago. I did not have the money for this. And it lasts like forever, forever, ever, ever. There's so much product in there. Next, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade, I don't remember which shade this is, but I will link it down below. I'm just using a stippling brush. This is such a good, affordable cream blush. And I like to bring it over the bridge of my nose as well. I feel like it adds kind of like a sun-kissed look. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use the Becca Moonstone Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is just kind of like a concentrated liquid highlight. So I'm just going to dab that. See the color? Just kind of like a champagne, like a light champagne. I'm going to dab that over the top of the cheekbones. And the nose, forehead. I'm just going to blend this out probably with my sponge. Okay, that added the most gorgeous, gorgeous glow. I forgot about that product as well. I think I got that last summer. I'm just loving rediscovering all my favorite products. I love that it's kind of like a neutral champagne. It's not like too cool toned or too warm. I feel like that would work on so many skin tones. Okay, so that is what the skin is looking like. I just love the way that those products all blended and just melted together. If you guys have any like products that I should try since you guys know kind of the look I'm going for let me know because I really want to try out some new like goodies because a lot of my stuff like I said products that I already had from last year I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my brows and my eyes you guys can you believe that Ramadan is in like a month time has gone by even faster now that I have Elena I am already kind of getting some of my content ideas and everything 
prepared. I'm so excited for Ramadan decor, Eid fashion. I'm so excited that it's Elena's first Ramadan and Eid. I, I just, I know that she won't be able to remember it, but I feel like I just want to make it special for her anyways, just so that she can like look back on like pictures. One thing though, is that I am still trying to figure out if I'm going to fast. So I did not fast while I was pregnant because it was just really difficult for me if you're not muslim or you're not aware uh, pregnant and breastfeeding women have the choice whether they want to fast or not it just depends on the woman's body like how they feel about fasting i don't think i'm gonna fast while i'm breastfeeding which i didn't really i guess i never really thought about it i was just thinking like oh okay like just while i'm pregnant i won't fast but then you don't realize a year later <laughs> you're still gonna have the issue of like breastfeeding and if i don't drink enough water my milk supply goes down like so much and elena's so fussy and i feel so bad i really don't think that there's any way that i can fast this year comment down below if you have any experience with breastfeeding and fasting and whether you chose to fast or not there's obviously no judgment here at all do whatever you feel is right for you and your baby and your body i guess i can always try it out for like a day or two and see how it goes but I don't want to risk my milk supply going down for my eyeshadow I'm gonna use this angled brush and a little bit of like a warm toned brown shadow and I'm gonna make a little flick with my eyeshadow to kind of look like an eyeliner but just like a really soft smoky eyeliner I guess it just gives the prettiest softest look to the eyes mascara i'm just going with my oldie but a goodie l'oreal telescopic for a lip liner i'm going in with charlotte tilbury hot gossip lipstick i'm going in with mac honey love i just recently picked up a new one like a really pretty peachy nude wear my milani keep it full lip gloss in the shade soft rose that is pretty much my face done i'm gonna add a little bit more of the moonstone highlight by becca i think my setting powder kind of covered it up a little bit earlier i will link all the products i use down below so pretty and oh the last thing that i forgot to do is actually set it with the morphe setting spray this is new to me and i'm sure so many of you guys probably already use this but it is so good it's like a continuous mist this is so glowy that is the makeup look completely done. Yesterday, I went ahead and put away all of my winter coats and knitwear and I replaced everything with lots of spring items. And I actually got a package in from Amazon yesterday that I'm so excited to share with y'all. Thank you so much to Amazon for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I went ahead and hung up some of the pieces and steamed them so I could try them on for you guys. I have some gorgeous maxi dresses to share with y'all. I'm so excited to share with y'all the Prime Wardrobe feature on Amazon Prime. Prime Wardrobe is already part of your Prime membership. So if you're an Amazon prime member i would highly suggest taking advantage it's basically like taking the dressing room home so you can choose up to eight items and then you have seven days to decide if you want to keep the items and you only pay for what you keep and you send the rest back it is so nice and convenient my box came yesterday with all of my selections i chose like a bunch of cute new spring items as you can see i'm very inspired by blue this season i'm gonna try on the pieces and i'll show you guys what i got the first couple of pieces that i have to share are the jeans that i'm wearing and this top the top is a really unique design because of this knotted sleeve i'd never seen statement sleeves like that and you guys know i love my statement sleeves the bodice is kind of like a t-shirt material and then the sleeves are that crisp dress shirt style i just love the knotted design so i tucked them into these jeans from amazon as well i love the wash on these jeans i don't think i have um, a lot of dark wash denim i usually go for light wash these are so so nice and flattering they're kind of like a high-waisted straight leg wide cut and i just paired it with some white booties for kind of like a spring transitional look comment below on all the items and let me know which ones i should keep and send back but i love 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 both of these pieces next up is this really elegant long sleeve maxi dress with this really stunning lace pattern and i thought this would be beautiful for if you guys have any photo shoots or like 
I don't know, I just feel like this would be gorgeous in photography for like an engagement shoot, even like a pregnancy announcement or something because it has this stretchy part all across the waistband. So I feel like a small bump would work really well with this dress. It's so hard to find long sleeve white maxi dresses, I feel like. And this is such a good one. It's lined all the way down, so I didn't have to worry about wearing anything underneath. Just like a little undershirt under the top. This next piece is probably the one that I was most excited about. It is this beautiful blue and white floral maxi dress with just this really dainty pattern that I just think is so elegant. I love this tiered design. It has buttons going down um, and it ends kind of at the bottom where there's a little slit. I just wore some white leggings and then the white undershirt just to cover up the v-neck. Otherwise it is just Super breezy and easy and lightweight. Um, it's like a really nice like chiffon material and I just loved this pattern so so much It's giving me like Santorini vibes so gorgeous for spring or summer And then I went ahead and paired it with the sandals that I also got in my prime wardrobe box I'll show you guys these up close. Okay, here are the sandals up close. They're by the drop collection by Amazon Which I absolutely love influencers collaborate with Amazon and create different pieces and these are such a good one They're really comfortable with like this really nice padded sole and they're just a classic staple for your spring summer wardrobe and they're really affordable the last couple of items are the joggers and the sweatshirt that come separately but they go together and it's this beautiful light blue tie-dye lounge set and it actually did come in pink which I had to kind of stop myself from getting it because I have so many pink and nude lounge sets that I thought I would try something different so beautiful I love this light blue color and the material is so soft and buttery literally I could just live in this sleep in this and it's not too like thick or anything it's really thin it's great for this like spring transitional weather these are some Amazon slippers that I've had in my wardrobe for a little while that I will link down below as well all the pieces that I'm sharing I will have down below in the description box this like initial necklace that I've been wearing today is also an Amazon find and is really affordable thanks again to Amazon for sponsoring this portion of today's video I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna head to go run some errands so we can get some stuff to refresh my spring decor Target and I got some really cute stuff. Target had literally the cutest spring decor. I wish I had more areas in my house that I needed to decorate because they had the cutest pillows, just the cutest everything. So let me show you guys what I got. I got a new welcome mat because this is actually the exact welcome mat that I already have, but mine got like mildewy or something and the colors changed. So I needed like a new fresh one. It's been like three years since I've gotten a new one. And then I got some wreaths. So I've tried to get wreaths in the past, but I just never, first of all, I never knew how to put them on the door without ruining the door. And second of all, I never really found any that I liked, but I loved these faux eucalyptus wreaths. They are so, so classic and beautiful. So I'm going to hang at both of those on my double door. These were right next to it, which is genius. It's a wreath hanger that you can put over the door without having to add any hooks or anything like that. So we are gonna go ahead and put that on my front porch. Next thing that I got are these gorgeous linen pillows. I'm planning on putting these on my bed. I thought I could add in some textures and this really simple pattern. I got three of them to replace the velvet ones that I have. And then I also got this chunky white throw blanket just to drape. I just wanted to add some more textures to my bed without having to change too many colors. So stopped by Bed Bath & Beyond because I needed some drawer organizers for my bedside table drawer. I just wanted to take on that little project because my bedside table drawer is a disaster like anytime I need to find something I'm just like digging and I don't even know what is in there a lot of the stuff was in there from my pregnancy the wedge pillow and like different things so I got these wooden dividers and I think it's gonna look really nice and just be so much more functional
is the final result with my bed. I think it looks so, so good. I'm so happy with the end result. I wanted to keep it white, but I love that we just added some textures with the throw blanket and these linen pillows. Now I'm gonna move on to organizing my nightstand drawer with you guys because I have absolutely no idea what's even in here. We're gonna get this all situated. So the dividers didn't actually fit in here as like nicely as I would have hoped. Um, I'm actually not using one of them because it wouldn't really fit in here that well, but I kind of made do. So what I have in here is my body lotion. I love the Necessary one. This is my absolute favorite. And then I also have a Laura Mercier lip balm. So those are kind of two things that I feel like I need in my drawer that wasn't in here. I literally had the most random junk in here. Elena's pacifiers, which actually... <laughs> I needed one because I'm always looking for one in the middle of the night. <laughs> so I have one in my bedside table drawer. I had my old iPhone in here. I had my belly band for pregnancy. I had like my wedge pillow that I used to sleep with when I was pregnant. Just stuff that I never used. Then I have some hair ties and these are kind of the things that I try to take every night. My oxy powder. This is the probiotic that I take. I just recently started taking um, CBD. I'm trying this one out by the brand Equilibria. These are their soft gels and this is a cream. Let me know if any of you guys have tried CBD before. I've heard amazing things about it. I literally just started taking them like yesterday so I haven't I don't have any results to share yet and I just have some tissues and a heating pad for when it's that time of the month Who's back? Elena. <laughs> and we actually already gave her a bath which usually we do that more towards yeah, bedtime it's a little out of order but um <laughs> she had a big blowout so we went ahead and did uh, bath time and pajamas and everything and now we're going on a walk Omar do you like my setup yeah my spring Refresh. Looks good. Yeah. We just gotta get the weeds. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. We gotta our, do that. Our flower beds and our terrible. bushes are dead from the freeze. The last time they died, we spray painted them green. <laughs> which <laughs> is which is those you. little they twigs, stayed, basically. They stayed green for actually a really long time. They looked really great, but now they're so dead that it's just like sticks. Yeah. Wait, can you show them how you say Baba? Say she, Baba. And she basically babbles and says Baba, Baba, Baba. Yeah, but it's Baba, 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 like, ba, not Mama, Mama, Mama. Yeah, technically that's Baba, and that's not acceptable. <laughs> she likes to cross her legs. I like how you're sitting, Mommy. <laughs> Almost Indian style. By the way, we have this uh, raggedy wheel. Oh, yeah. So yeah, How did that happen, Omar? come on, Lena. We don't really have to talk about this, do we? Omar ran over my stroller <laughs> <laughs> with the car. I hit it coming into the garage. I forgot that I put it there. And oh, Lena has been suffering. Yeah, <laughs> we ordered a new wheel. We're just waiting for it to get here. It's on its last wheel. <laughs> It is 7.45. It is 7.45. After and daylight savings. Yeah, it's daylight savings was two days ago. Yeah. So and she, now the sun is setting way later. Yeah, which is nice because I love yeah. when days are long and it just feels like, I don't know, you have more of a day. Right. But we were expecting Lena to be up like super late. <laughs> she already fell asleep. Yeah. But that means that she'll probably take a little mini nap and then be up until like... 8 30. We'll so yeah i think we're gonna order mexican food for dinner tonight because that sounds so good yeah and, and it's already 7 45. yeah and i just don't feel like cooking anything so <laughs> we'll probably order that and then have some dinner we've got dinner elena is still awake <laughs> but i'm hoping she goes to sleep I went ahead and put mine on a plate. I also ordered, these are sour cream and geladas. This is like my weakness when it comes to Mexican food. So I always have to get an order and just at least eat one. <laughs> We're gonna finish our dinner and then hopefully Elena will go to sleep so that we can watch something. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. Thanks again to Amazon for sponsoring this video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.